Hey everybody, I'm Ducky. I'm Rose. And welcome back to Collecting Together. Uh, this is part two of our video game pops. So if you haven't seen the first one, you can go check that one out. Or maybe after this one. You know, however you wanna. Whichever. You can watch it multiple times if you want. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> so, yeah. Let's get started. Alright, this next one is from Rampage. George, Lizzie, and Ralph. 8-bits. Yep. It's a Walmart exclusive. When I when I first saw it, when this came out, I was like really happy. I never played the original or the arcade, mm -hmm. but I played the one on 64, Nintendo 64, like a lot. So mm -hmm. I saw it and I was like, oh man, I really want that. And it was like 32 when it came out on Walmart.com and then it was sold out for a little bit. And then when I went back to check it out, actually we went to one of the buy sell trades. And I went back, to, or we went to the buy sell trade, and I saw it there for like forty bucks, and I almost bought it, and I ended up not buying it for whatever reason. And then like later that week, it was on Walmart.com for five bucks. I think you wanted to check like eBay prices, something like that. But I'm happy I waited because it's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh look at this, uh, the, the thing in the background. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Is it like a screenshot from the game? Probably. It's good back. But yeah. Pretty heavy. Pretty cool. I think all of the ape bits are like super heavy. I always used to pick a uh, Lizzie. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Just because it's a reptile. <laughs> so this next one is from Mortal Kombat X and it's Luke Kane. Oh, Mortal Kombat. There is so many versions of Mortal Kombat 2. Yeah. yeah. I think, like, Part 2 is still my favorite. But... I think out of all the characters, it just was never that interesting. And his fight fighting style is kind of annoying. He was... He was good. Especially for, like, beginners. And, like, more advanced people that would play this game would just spam you with fireballs. Mm. I just hated the... I think it was the bicycle kicks. Oh, yeah. I can't stand that sound. The next one is Katana. And she looks pretty cool. I've always liked Katana, though. Yeah, she's... She's one of my favorites to play with in part two. Whenever I do play, I either play as her or Molina. But, I don't know. It could be just because they're female, but... I think Katana's one of the better characters. I like getting her little death fans. Yeah. But she looks alright. She's got fans. Oh, does she? Oh, yeah. That <laughs> That's funny, she was standing on her head. Yeah. I wonder what. Uh, X? We never really played X, did we? No. I feel like this tiara that she has on should mm -hmm. be like a different color. It's, it just blends too much into her hair, I guess. I think it should be like a silver or something. Isn't it? It's on there, silver. Yeah, oh, that, yeah that's probably why. Probably saw that. But on there it's silver-ish. So the next one is Raiden. Yeah, I mean, it's Raiden. I mean, would have thought that they would have made him more of an interesting character, but Pretty? I don't know. Yeah. I think Raiden's Just cool. saying that he's supposed to be a god. I think he's awesome. Man, yeah, that's a good pop. Nice. I love when they're stable and you just put it down and you're all good. Looks cool. So the next one is Scorpion. I think the, the, the reason, well, I think one of the reasons why Mortal Kombat was so popular when it came out was because of like all the secrets and codes and stuff and like figuring it out like how to do all that stuff. <laughs> So, people like all the blood and gore. Yeah, well, I'm saying, like, one of the reasons. And, um, like, you know, going to school, you know, trying to tell people, like, yeah, if you 
<laughs> you know, you, Scorpion turns into an actual Scorpion for a fatality. This is this is before, you know, all all of them had their anim animalities and stuff. But I think that was. Yeah. And the next one is another scorpion, but it's a flaming skull one. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. It looks pretty cool. We just got this one recently. I love that part in the movie when he's fighting Johnny Cage. <laughs> and like he's like a flaming skull there and he just like gets his skull sliced in half. Yeah. Oh, it looks pretty neat, the flames. Yeah. How they're like translucent, translucent, and then it goes into the yellow. You know, I know like when you continually make a game, you know you gotta try and make it a little different and stuff. Mm -hmm. But when I see the newer games, the thing I don't like about them is like they have like so much stuff like on them. Oh, yeah. And it just, it's like... Kind of overburdens the character. Like, it just seems like so much stuff. Like, I liked when it was, like, basic and they just had the ninja gi on and stuff. Oh. Uh, but I like that, like, in the newer games, it looks like they're, they have, like, alternate costumes, which is kind of cool. Yeah. It's the originals. So the next one is Sub-Zero. And I would think this is your favorite one. You constantly choose him. Well, yeah, he has the ice grenade. <laughs> Love that fatality. Man, when I, when I learned to do that fatality, I was like... So happy. I think there's a. I know there's a Goro one that we don't have. Mm. That's a six inch pop. Oh, well, that's good. That, that one's a six inch. And then there's a, another Sub Zero. I think that's a Chase. And I'm kind of surprised you didn't say anything about any of them having microphones. I don't see anything in their hands except for Kitana. <laughs> but it's obviously a steel bladed fan. Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this one's from Resident Evil. Is that a microphone? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a bazooka. I, they, they should have made this a six inch pop. Yeah, it's kind of weird that they didn't. Is this one supposed to be on the, based on the game or the actual movie? Uh, the game. I think they're all from the game. Because the Hunter is six inch. But mm. oh man, that looks pretty good. Oh yeah, it does. Kind of looks like the the Cenobite. Oh yeah, Power I Ranger. know which one you're talking about too. With the teeth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this one looks good though. Yeah. Oh man, those staples holding his head together is pretty gnarly. <laughs> so this next one is Liquor. Another Resident Evil. This looks pretty cool. Uh, isn't that supposed to be like a uh, bunny or something? Uh, I don't know. Mutant bunny. The only, the only Resident Evil games I, I remember a lot from is Part 1 and Part 4. Uh, but I think that one was from Part 2, the liquor. Uh, well, I just say because of the movie. Kind of looks like the... Was it in the movie? I think so, at the very end. Oh, yeah, now, when they're on the train. Yeah. Okay, yeah, now I remember this thing. But I think it's from Part part two in the video games. Mm. It's cool though. Well, they changed a lot around in the movies, but um, a lot of the main characters make it into their one fashion or another. Another Resident Evil, and it's Leon Kennedy. Leon S. Kennedy. Hmm. Seems weird that they put it, the S there, but... Why'd they give him a shotgun? They should have gave him... Uh, something. Man, this game was so good. Like, I know I'll, it freaked you out a I'll, lot. I'll still play this game. Like, this game is yeah. really fun. Like, like, it, it, like the very beginning of the game, it starts getting scary. Which one is it that freaks you out the most? With the Shark Tank? Oh, the first one. Uh, it's the first. 
I played. I didn't play the original Resident Evil. It was the remake on GameCube. It was the one I started playing, and there's a part in there where it's a. Uh, it's called like the Neptune Tank, and there's like genetically engineered sharks there. <laughs> and that it's not. I mean, yeah, it's not that tank. It's like the hallway right before it, and there's like nothing going on. But it's like the music that's like really creepy. You kept expecting sharks. Yeah, to I was up. expecting something to happen. Alright, next and our last one is Jill Valentine. Valentine. Is Leon or Jill your favorite? Uh, probably Jill. That's who I used to pick all the time for the first game was Jill. I probably played through it like two or three times before I went to pick Chris. And that's what they should make is a Chris, Chris Redfield. Oh pop. yeah. And Claire, that'd be cool. Were you happy to see them in the movies? Uh, I, I was, yeah, I guess, but those movies were, I like the first one a lot. The first one was pretty good, mm. but, you I know. I kind of like that they put Alice in there, because they gave a chance for all of the characters, like, kind of a buffer. Mm, because he's meeting all these characters and eventually they meet, but yeah, I, I, I guess. I think it's it was a realistic way to do it. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I'm guessing the one you like the most is Kitana. Uh, yeah. Out of these ones, I would say Kitana. Mm, Sub Zero is kind of cool though. Yeah. And that flaming skull scorpion. If if scorpion and nemesis were fighting, who do you think? I think nemesis just because he could squish scorpion. Maybe. Well, because he's supposed to be really big, so all he'd have to do is step on his skull. <laughs> hey, I guess. And since he's already dead, it's not like he's really gonna, the flames are gonna bother him all that much. Alright, well, those are our video game pops. Um, if you like Mortal Kombat, who's your favorite character and what's your favorite fatality? And what, if you are very into video games and you have some pops, which ones do you have and which is your favorite? Hmm, yeah. Alright, I think that's going to do it for us. Thanks for hanging out with us, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.